Uh, so the the thing that like kind of I noticed, and then I started seeing it kind of everywhere. There was an article uh, that we popped in here earlier this week about uh, it was from Popular Science. And the article particularly was, what is the best under desk bike for work from home? I didn't know we were doing under desk bikes for work for home, but okay. Um, and then and then I opened this up and people were like, oh yeah, I've heard about that and so so trying or I've been considering it or or, or, or things like that. But yeah, it's uh you, you you throw a little kind of pedal bike. Where are the pictures at? There you go. Under your it's a, a desk cycle is one of them that they uh, recommend here uh, for your at home desking. Um, we, I presume we don't do this on the Zoom call necessarily. Um, unless you got a green screen, you put a nice little background of you jogging while you're doing it. Uh, but, but uh, I mean, it's going, it's going under your desk, and I mean, even like right now, you're only getting me from. Yeah, you could be doing anything. I could be doing anything down here. You, I mean, you don't even know if I have pants on, no. let alone if I'm riding a bike. You could be putting in the miles during this show. You have no idea. <laughs> Same with Katie over there, right? You have no idea. No. We're, there's not. There's all kinds of things. Animals. All kinds of stuff happening. Yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly. well, and I've seen, I mean, I've, I've seen people and I mean, I've seen people on like a, a tread, a, a, a desk treadmill type thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's one right here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the, uh, this is the, well, that's still, that's still a bike. I'm talking like this was like a treadmill with a tabletop mm -hmm. attached. Oh, oh yeah. Treadmill. Okay. Okay. Wow, that I don't. I'm not. Listen, man. When I'm doing my fitness plus treadmill exercise, I'm already trying not. I was I was trying to rearrange things because I'm like I'm eating too much breakfast before I get on the treadmill. So I need to have a coffee, go on the treadmill because I have to have the coffee first. Because if not, I'm gonna fall off my treadmill because I just woke up. Right? Like I can't. You can't add more things to that. I'm going to end up in the hospital, Chilla. I just picture you like rolling out of bed with like a Keurig on the nightstand. It's a... You sip you sip your coffee before you even get out of bed and then oh. like you you this would make an amazing TikTok. I'm going to be putting a Keurig in the hallway upstairs. No, cuz you need to put the treadmill next to your bed. Next to my bed. Oh, it's not in the same room. So, I mean it's next to so a you, not, so you wake it automatically pours the cup of coffee, you take the sip, and then you swing your legs out mm -hmm. where you would think the floor is, and you're on a treadmill, and then you just start going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these, these are, like, these are fantastic ideas. <laughs> I, Maybe you, I mean, there's a Keurig at the end of your treadmill, so you have to walk on it. <laughs> oh, to get to the Keurig? To, so I drink the coffee <laughs> while uh, Emily is yelling at me and singing along to that Fast and the Furious song? Uh, uh, trying to get me motivated on the treadmill, uh, uh, on the Fitness yeah. Plus, and, and then I'm drinking coffee. No, no, now I now I'm in danger of scolding myself while exercising, and then still falling off, uh, even, uh, uh, the treadmill. So, I don't know, I don't know. Either way, that that Keurig's probably going to have to move. <laughs> like I feel like we're dangerously rolling into, uh, Foreman Grill in bed. So he can have toast in the morning or, or bacon in the morning, uh, uh, Michael Scott territory here a little bit, right? Uh, so I don't know. Can I put the Keurig in the bathroom? Is that weird? That's a little weird. That no, I don't want to do that. Why is it weird? That's not too weird. Do you want to poop next to a Keurig? I'll say it. <laughs> well, no, but I yeah. Do you, I don't or know. do you want the Keurig? Do you do you want a Keurig next to where you poop? No, and I guess I'm thinking like I don't know the how, bathroom that's listen. next to our bedroom has like a little closet in the back. Okay. Okay. Like okay. with a, like with like a like get, like a little like uh, folding door or whatever. I was thinking. Right. Oh, right. I wouldn't be too bad okay. To put one so back. so you you have a different. I I got like just enough room for bathroom appliances in my bathroom. Okay. I don't have a lot of room for that. It's just not going to work. Uh, so, um, no, we, 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 you got me thinking about this, though, Chilla. But I'll be all, all here all day. Uh, let's absorb. I'm a runner. I've pooped in weird places. Okay, there you go from Dave Potter, Iconography Podcast. That's your plug. Uh, so, 
<laughs> oh boy. Um, either way, I just need to solve this problem of accurately making sure I work out every day and get my coffee in the proper order. Before, and but you got me. You got me thinking. You got me thinking. A lot of new ideas today. But do I get a desk bike? So to me, my my favorite was when I would. It was before we had the Keurig, and we always used the uh, a percolator. Um, mm -hmm. And we had a percolator on a remote switch down in the kitchen. So you could literally, back when the X10 before iHome, and it, before any of like the, <laughs> the cooler, more current home automation stuff, we had an X10 um, outlet thing down in, or down in the kitchen, and you would wake up and you'd reach over and hit the button and it would turn on the, the old school coffee pot percolator and it would be ready when you got downstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, one way or another. So, um, all right, before we talk about poop again, we should probably get out of here. Uh, so, uh, first of all, Chilla at Chilla on the Twitters, of course, to John. ask him where he wants to put his curate. <laughs> where 